Migration along the Eastern Corridor 2023 The Horn of Africa and Yemen is one of the busiest and riskiest migration corridors in the world traveled by hundreds of thousands of migrants, the majority of whom travel in an irregular manner, often relying on smugglers to facilitate movement along the eastern route. This regional report provides monthly updates on the complex migratory dynamics through Djibouti, Somalia, Yemen and Ethiopia based on diverse data sources and consultations with key informants in the four countries. Moreover, it provides information on the main protection concerns for migrants along the journey, information on the spillover effects of the conflict in northern Ethiopia observed at the border between Ethiopia, Kenya and Sudan, a specific focus on children and information on the returns from Saudi Arabia to Ethiopia, Somalia and Yemen. Migration through Djibouti Migrant entries into Djibouti increased by 11% from February. This increase was due to improved security conditions along the migratory routes between Djibouti and Ethiopia combined with the opportunity of the month of Ramadan. Migrants generally consider this month ideal to go to the Arabian Peninsula due to the perception that border authorities tend to decrease their coverage and mobility restrictions are eased. Women and children represented 35% of all entries. 39% of all children were traveling alone, most of whom were boys 94%. Most of the children traveling alone 93% were from the Oromia region of Ethiopia. Although economic reasons were the main migration driver, 60% of movements originating in the Somali region of Ethiopia and 11% from Tigray were due to food insecurity. Many migrants became stranded after being abandoned by smugglers while in transit in Djibouti, increasing the number of stranded migrants in the country by 10% from 733 to 804. Stranded migrants were mainly concentrated in the northern coastal area of Obak 45% and in the southern region of Daikil 30% bordering Ethiopia. Almost half of those stranded were women 15% and children 32%. Many of the stranded migrants requested assistance at the Obak Mercy, with registrations almost tripling from February 93. Due to limited reception capacity, the MRC only admitted the most vulnerable migrants while others received assistance outside the MRC. 368 migrants received AVRR assistance to return to Ethiopia. Since November 2022, the most vulnerable migrants arriving at the MRC in Obak have benefited from AVRR assistance, while the non-vulnerable migrants have benefited from return without reintegration due to limited reception capacity in Ethiopia. Migration through Somalia The security situation in La Sinad, located on one of the main migratory routes to reach Basaso, continued to deteriorate and the number of stranded migrants more than doubled, reaching around 6,000 in March. Migrants in this area were extremely vulnerable and likely exposed to getting caught in crossfire, and some decided to change transit points along their journey. Many migrants from Somalia continued to move to IDP camps in Ethiopia and refugee camps in Kenya due to drought. At the same time, Ethiopians from the Somali region came to Somalia's ghetto region to search for humanitarian aid at the camps in Dulo. On March 28, 2023, a vehicle transporting Ethiopian migrants near Basaso overturned and 11 people lost their lives and 20 were injured. In a separate incident, an Ethiopian migrant reported surviving a car crash that killed three friends migrating with him when traveling through La Sinod after the driver was injured by a bullet. In another incident in Berbera, of a group of people who had been on the move for seven days without adequate food and water, one person was unable to continue the journey and passed away. A further two Ethiopian men died in Zarayarad due to interclan violence and one Ethiopian woman due to gunshot while crossing the border in a vehicle transporting migrants near Togwajali. 120 Ethiopian migrants from the Oromia region had a car accident in Hargeisa while on the way to Basaso. No deaths were reported however, 35 migrants were injured. Migration through Yemen Migrants exiting Ethiopia increased by 21% from February. Movements exiting Ethiopia that originated in Tigray continued to increase due to improved security plus 42% and the number recorded in March 2023-2764 was the highest ever recorded. 
Most Tigrayans were traveling through Galafi 70%, yet around one-third 34% of all. Movements from Ethiopia to Kenya through Mwail increased by 48% in the last month, with most movements due to economic reasons 84%, although 11% were drought-related movements. Movements from Ethiopia to Somalia via Togakale also increased plus 46%, although most movements were economically driven 89% drought-related movements quadrupled between February 66 and March 283 movements toward Somalia via Dukdawail due to conflict 57% and drought 23% also increased from February. The government of Ethiopia announced in late March 2023 that returns from Saudi Arabia will be suspended as of early April. It is unclear if and when returns will resume. 1,702 migrants 93% male and 7% female were returned from Aden in Yemen to Ethiopia through VHR, mainly to the Oromia region. A halt in these movements is expected from mid-April 2023. Migrants seeking assistance at MRCs increased by 45% from February to March and over half 57% of children were unaccompanied. Migration through Ethiopia migrants exiting Ethiopia increased by 21% from February. Movements exiting Ethiopia that originated in Tigray continued to increase due to improved security plus 42% and the number recorded in March 2023, 2764 was the highest ever recorded. Most Tigrayans were traveling through Galafi 70% yet around one-third 34% of all Tigrayans still reported moving due to conflict, violence or persecution. Movements from Ethiopia to Kenya through Mwail increased by 48% in the last month, with most movements due to economic reasons 84%, although 11% were drought-related movements. Movements from Ethiopia to Somalia via Togakale also increased plus 46%, although most movements were economically driven 89% drought-related movements quadrupled between February 66 and March 283 movements toward Somalia via Dukdawail due to conflict 57% and drought 23% also increased from February. The government of Ethiopia announced in late March 2023 that returns from Saudi Arabia will be suspended as of early April. It is unclear if and when returns will resume. 1,702 migrants 93% male and 7% female were returned from Aden in Yemen to Ethiopia through VHR, mainly to the Oromia region. A halt in these movements is expected from mid-April 2023. Migrants seeking assistance at MRCs increased by 45% from February to March and over half 57% of children were unaccompanied.